Just Sampraday here, and uh, they're having an Akyanda Kirtan, 24-hour Maha Mantra Kirtan going on in this temple. Only interrupted now because we are speaking. But basically, this temple is always in the spirit of Maha Mantra chanting. Yes. And uh, so these deities, or rather Raja Mohan, they, they, they came here to Vrindavan quite some time later. And uh, in this meeting, when they were installed in the scriptures, like Narottam Vilas and Bhakti Ratnakar, it is mentioned that there was a big kirtan, big kirtan of the installation of these deities. And then all of a sudden, all of, all of the members, the great devotees, noticed that the Panchatattva reappeared and was dancing in the middle of that kirtan. So you can imagine what type of a kirtan that must have been. <coughs> when there was in the middle of everybody the appearance of their lordship, of the Sri Panchatattva. Actually, Narutam Dastako, Srinivasacharya and Shamananda Prabhu, they are considered the secondary expansion of the uh, of the mercy of the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The first expansion is the six Goswami Vrindavan, and the secondary expansion is these three preachers. They were particularly keen on preaching. They had gotten the the charge of distributing the nectar of the six Goswamis all over the world. Well, in, in their times, mainly in India, but their preaching went as far as Manipur, because in Manipur, precisely, it was that Narutam Dastaku had more followers. But his preaching was very wide, wide. You see, you have to see what happened in those days was that uh, all over the world, people didn't know much about Lord Chaitanya. But the, these personalities got all the kings of India, all the way from Nepal, Burma, Cambodia, all these other kingdoms, they all came and made temples here in Vrindavan. So Vrindavan became a place of kings. That's why you find so many palatial buildings here. Because the kings came here with their people and they all wanted to have an embassy in Vrindavan. So they all want to come, like today we have an embassy of Colombia, an embassy of Chile, an embassy of Germany, and, and so many other embassies to come. In the Braj Mandal will be, the whole world will be represented in this little place. Well, it's not a little place, it's an eternal expanding place, but in, the, in what sense you could say it's just a, a small little town. But the whole world will have, want to have an embassy here and will want to do nice service in the Braj Mandal area. This is actually very nice. It's our good luck that we can do some service. And the best of all service, Krishna says, Yai dang paramangu yam mat pakte shabidasyati parting mai parangkritva mami vaishasya shangshaya. That means the best of all services is tell others about Krishna, tell others about Vrindavan, become involved doing something for Vrindavan, doing something for Krishna, and that will be your greatest treasure, your greatest opportunity. You will be fortunate because when you're going around the world, then you will go and you meet the people who are actually devotees of Krishna. Because Krishna is in the heart of everybody. You don't have to make an importation of Krishna from Vrindavan to the hearts of everybody. Everybody is a devotee of Krishna. Everybody belongs to Krishna. Because Krishna is the Lord and the Master in the heart of everybody. And if that would not be so, we would not feel so inspired about Krishna. What need do we have to follow somebody who has been worshipped in India, even though the, some very supreme qualities are connected to him. We are not interested, I mean at least me, I was never interested in Greek gods, I was never interested in Roman gods, I was never interested in Egyptian gods, I was never interested in Maya, in Aztecs and, and Inca gods. I mean, even seeing those figures would not even raise an interest in me. But when I saw the beautiful form of Radha and Krishna, I said, who is this? Who is this in the world? The divine couple of divine mercy descending in this world. And 
the, just the physical attractiveness of the all-attractive Supreme Lord, that's already wonderful enough. But on top of that, of this physical attractiveness of Krishna, we find that philosophy which conquers all philosophies. This dharmic instruction, this way of living morality, this way of respecting others, this way of appreciating and loving others, it's just spectacular. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It is just wonderful. Everything done by Lord Krishna is wonderful.